or here's we can determine when they pulled off the roof material they didn't spray the glue out they rolled it with like a roller so if we get on the roof right there we can see that was just oh that's gross I don't even know what was going to stick right there. And hopefully you can see on the ground back there are the front caps and the rear caps. I say it's very important when you're doing these uh, Winnebago roof jobs that you have to take those off because this becomes quite structural. Neither times did that service center take off the caps because you can see this is the original Winnebago installed file on. And they didn't want to bother with taking the cap off. So they just cut right there. And uh, <laughs> rolled the file on forward. I like to see that they kept the center line though, so I guess they were watching a little bit of my videos. But they didn't watch all of it because they didn't want to go through the extra hassle of taking the front and rear caps off because I do know that's a big pain. But that bow in the file on is actually pretty structural and it needs to be tucked underneath so that it's contained. It's also a pretty uh, vital waterproofing area because there's nothing to screw down uh, this seam right here and it can get quite floppy because it's just eighth inch Luon that is the base of this. Now not only did they not take out the front and rear caps when they did the job, so my Scott continues over there. Uh, he did inform me that the guy, the crew over here at Cassones, they made this cut right there just in order to uh, separate it from the double-sided tape. So the previous service center just left the original Luan right here. And we're also confident maybe that service center replaced the Luan on this side because we can see those pencil marks right there. So I think they did actually replace the Luan over here. I don't know which glue they used because I don't see any signs of glue. But... Whatever they did use, it stuck really well right about there. Nowhere else, but right there. Yeah. Because uh, remember, they didn't take the front cap off, so the original Winnebago stuff was underneath there, and there was a seam right there. So he did tell me that. And then on the sidewalls right there, that's supposed to be more of a urethane-based adhesive to keep the uh, roof from untucking. They just used clear silicone as a cap seal over the top. Which is a weird choice to me too because this is a full body paint job and you can't paint uh, silicone. We didn't take off the original Luan of this one either. So you can see they glued over where some of those splinters were in the glue. And so we didn't have any adhesion to the phylon material because of all of that. Uh, got, material got ripped off on the old Luan. You can see on the second Luan they had good adhesion there and ripped off more splinters. So if we were to try to reuse this plywood right here would be a low point and the contact adhesive would never get into it. Well it doesn't help with all these really high points. I don't... that's that's pretty bad. But if you come over to here this is still the original Luan that Winnebago put down because they obviously didn't cut it here. But this roof at least still has its crown on it so these guys can go ahead and secure it on the inside with the beam they won't have to add any framing probably on this one that one man it's such a low dip right there because that was the customer's first complaint was that there were low points on the roof uh, and water was puddling and they had to go through a lot of uh, hassle to get the service center to i guess give them their money back too on that one so this Winnebago will be a much easier job to do. This one's going to be quite the, the ordeal. Now when I first started doing these Winnebago roof replacements, I said if you took one panel of Luan off at a time, you didn't have to worry about supporting the roof underneath. But as we've been doing these roofs, we have been noticing that Winnebagos are a lot less uh, durable than we had planned originally. And because uh, the guys over here at Cassones and myself aren't like the manufacturers of RVs. We tend to learn and try to improve our processes. On every roof job we do now, we do go ahead and add structural support underneath the roof to keep it from sagging as we're working on it. So that when the new roof is installed, <laughs> there's not a gap or a low point in the middle of the roof. It's a trough. And this crown, this crown that the Winnebago puts on is a very important structural part of the roof because it is just that laminated 
Luon foam, Luon phylon on top. They don't really have any structure in it. And if you let that crown sag a little bit, you're gonna have to start adding structure like we're doing. Using either steel or aluminum tubing, which we are getting pretty good at putting a bend on, which again, originally, I had stated trying to make framing that had a crown on it all the way down where the crown's gonna change every time is not something I'd ever wanna do. But it's something we've been having to do because of uh, the nature of these Winnebago roofs, especially the newer ones where they change the roof design pretty substantially. Not substantially enough to actually add framing to the roof, mind you. Just the uh, extrusion and the foam design. So on this 2003 Winnebago journey, here's a look at the profile of the extrusion. Uh, this is a sidewall. This is a roof. And there's really not a a lip over on this side that the Luon or the paneling laid on top of. There is a lip way down below. And so it was really just that strange looking, uh, I don't know, almost a trapezoid with that cut out right there. That's the only real structure to the roof. But on this 2009 Winnebago journey, they changed this radius extrusion I wouldn't say substantially, but it's a lot different. It serves the same purpose, but it's a lot more radius. It's going to be hard to see, but now there's a radius on it. Instead of there being like a, uh, a back bevel to in, uh, interlock with the sidewall right there, it's more just a ledge that it sits on top of. And then we already saw on the roof right here, the Luan is supposed to go over the top of that. This all becomes a little bit problematic for us when we're redoing the roof, but I do like to see at least Winnebago did upgrade and change. I think mostly it was because they started adding awnings uh, that need to be on the radius, so they need to have a curved radius rather than this uh, flat beveled radius right here that you see. Because don't forget there's a radius piece of styrofoam that fits inside this lip right there to give it that radius appearance. You don't need that over here because it already has a radius on the uh, extrusion by itself. And our improvement process isn't just limited to putting support underneath. Uh, on all the coaches that we work on, is uh, we now stitch and glue all the styrofoam together. It's been a learning process, but we found that adding expanding foam to actually glue each one of these pieces of panel to itself gives a lot more structure. And then if we add up all the... Uh, square footage of all this voided space and becomes glue space it adheres to the luon a lot better even with the wire runs right here if you start actually adding up all the square footage of that missing voided space it becomes pretty substantial so the guys are going to continue on both these are doing them at the same time because you know it's coming into good weather here and that's good rv and weather so both these owners would really like to have their rvs to enjoy since they paid so much for them but the crew over here at Casones RV in Mesa Arizona also doesn't want to rush through the repair like the previous service center did and they want to have a roof that they can stand behind and feel good about sitting down the road not having to worry about coming back immediately so we did learn two important things uh, don't reuse the old Luan and don't roll out the uh, contact adhesive onto the roof. You need to spray it out just like we've showed you. Uh, I don't know why the uh, installers decided to do the roof this way. Not once, but twice. Uh, I have quite the uh, tutorial that is available on the internet. And I don't know why they decided not to seal underneath all the vents and caps. Or uh, make weird seams. I mean, I know me as a flat rate technician, I, I get it a little bit, but at the same time, you got to have a little bit of dignity, I guess. Taking off these front caps is not fun. Taking off the rear caps is not fun, but it's a lot less fun, but it's a lot easier than having to do the job twice and waste all those materials twice. And also, like I say in all my videos, uh, it's one of the most common questions. Can't we just reuse the old Luon? I always say no. And I think we have pretty good indications of why we can't reuse the old Luon. Even though uh, lumber prices have doubled, Luon used to be 
eleven dollars a sheet. Now it's like twenty-two dollars a sheet. It's still the absolute cheapest part of this whole repair, and I don't know why we would cheap out on the most important part. That's also the cheapest part, because uh, I get emails all the time asking, "How much glue do I really use? Do you know how expensive that glue really is?" And uh, do I really need to use both those glues? Because that stuff's really expensive. And I always say, you got to get it. You got to make sure you get more than you want to use. Because if you try to go cheap on the glue also, you're going to have to redo the roof again too. So you wasted glue and glue on and an awful lot of your time on top of all the sealant. So just do it right the first time. You won't have to come back and redo it. And we all learn from our mistakes. That's why we've changed up the repair procedure on a lot of these Winnebago roofs. It's definitely a shame because I always like these uh, journeys. This is what I kind of figured if I was going to get a diesel pusher, it'd be one of these 2000s to 2006 journeys. Besides the roof, I really like them. So they're going to go ahead and continue on on this. Hopefully I can check back here in a couple days and see the progress if I'm not helping out myself. Remember how I said Winnebago roofs don't have any framing in them? The guys here at Casones RV are going to manufacture framing that Winnebago should have done when they built it. I'm going to take this aluminum square tubing that's straight and then bend it to a nice bow to match the radius that the roof is supposed to have. So we go from a straight one to a curved one just like that. And they're making 13 of those bow frames because this Winnebago roof has already been replaced by a previous repair center and they did not do the job correctly. And now the guys here at Casson are going to do it the right way to make sure it doesn't collapse this time. You can see right here they make these flanges, they'll weld those on to those frame members. And now we'll have a perfect match to the profile in that foam. And that way when they laminate the Winnebago roof, it'll be done correctly and it won't collapse like the previous uh, attempt did. You only got 25 more to go. Then once they get all that framing put in, they'll put some Luon paneling and then they'll be able to put the fiberglass pylon back on top. But the guys here over at Casones RV in Mesa, Arizona have really kind of written a book on Winnebago roof replacements and they've come up with a lot of different uh, strategies and methods to fix the number one problem that Winnebago has on their motorhomes. A roof design that they haven't changed in 30 years. Well, maybe one day Winnebago will uh, take the hint that they might need to add some framing. Maybe they'll hire us as their structural engineers. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, we couldn't do any worse, right? Yeah. <laughs> and as we're always uh, trying to, it's like, and like I, and as part of the improvement, rather than just, uh, thanks to Winnebago's wonderful design, they're getting really good at this because they have a second one right here. Should you ever decide you want to uh, rebuild a Winnebago roof, I have a lot of tutorials on a long form video, but the first thing that you want to make sure you do is to understand there's not an easy, quick way of doing it. You will have to take the rear caps off and the front caps off, okay?